Hey everybody, I'm Shane from Ammon Arsenal. All right, you've deployed Java 8 to all your computers using PDQ Deploy. But now you want to uh, have all these computers run the same Java settings, same configuration settings. How are we going to do that? Well, we're going to use PDQ Deploy, obviously, in this example. And you need to push at least one file out to a target. First of all, I'm going to go out to a file share that I've got. It's on token. And the share is called Java Central. And you'll see we've got a handful of files. In this example, we're going to say, tell all the computers that they need to pull all their Java settings from this file, deployment.properties. To do that, we're going to copy deployment.config down to their computers. I'm going to edit the config. You see there's just two lines there. One says this is where you find the deploy prop deployment properties file. And then uh, the mandatory equals true means you have to use this file, otherwise um, you won't be able to really use Java. So. That's mandatory equals true. If you don't like that, mandatory equals false. Let's take a peek at the uh, deployment properties. In this case, we just have a handful of them th that we're going to use. Um, you can see them here. Where do I find these properties? There's a, Oracle has a, a document, deployment configuration file and properties. Uh, there's the URL right there. If you scroll down, you'll see all of the different, I mean, there's so many different properties that you can set. So this is where you'll want to go. All right, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to use PDQ Deploy 6 because I have a file copy step. If you're, not, if you're using a version prior to 6, you're going to want to use a uh, copy of this file using a command step. I'm going to create a new package. We'll call this uh, maybe something, something, something like uh, central java config. And I'm going to go to a new step button, select a file copy. Then I'm going to delete the uh, default install step because we're not actually going to do an installation here. All right, we're going to choose this single file option. Where do we want to go? I'm just going to do a quick paste here. Boom. And then it's called deployment, spelled properly, dot config. So we're going to say copy fi this file from token, deployment.config. And where does it go? Well, we're going to make sure it needs to go in the Windows directory of your target computer. So I'm going to use the winder variable. And it's going to go into a, a folder called sun, a subfolder java, and then another one called deployment. Make sure that's spelled right. And I'm going to overwrite existing files, because if there's one that's already down there, we want to overwrite that. I am going to do an extra step. I'm going to come over to uh, the Conditions tab and just say, uh, don't run on 2003 or XP, because Java, we're doing talking about Java 8, and Java 8 is not supported on those platforms. Not massively important, but yeah, be a, good, be a good citizen. All right, that's all we're going to do. Now, I'm going to come over to this computer is called Guinness. I'm going to go to the Control Panel, and you'll see under Java, I can go to security, and I kind of have the default settings. When we're done, that should change. So let's deploy this out to the computer called Guinness. Obviously, you can use the uh, choose targets to, to choose more than just one target without, you don't have to type every, every computer in. But in this case, that's what I'm going to do. So we're deploying this out. Take a drink of Guinness. All right, that was successful. If we come back to uh, Java Control Panel, go to Programs, Java, go to the Security, aha, you see that now we're forcing it on high, and we've got the exception site list that's, that's referenced, plus all the other settings that were in that deployment.properties uh, deployment file. That's exactly how you do it. Now, um, what if you want to, uh, I want to deploy Java out to a computer, and I also want to have this copied at the same time. Well, sure, you can do that. Uh, we've got the Java 8 Update 40 we downloaded from the package library. I'm going to create a new step. I'm going to do a, a nested command, a nested package, pardon me. And I'm going to select this new, uh, this new config file. Now, I'm doing this only if you want to kind of bundle both features, deploying Java and then setting these out, um, setting, forcing these settings in one deployment. I'll go out to a computer called Putty. 
PuTTY doesn't have Java 8 yet. Now we're going to deploy Java, and then free it no extra charge, we're going to apply these settings. All right, so now we've just, we've just deployed Java 8, plus pushed those files as part of a nested package. So I've got a remote desktop session open with PuTTY. Let's go ahead and log in. Go to the Java control panel. And boom, there, those are the settings. So that's how you do that. Just so you know, if you want to push these files out, if you don't want to run this off of a uh, file server, uh, there's a couple of other options. I'll just show you this quickly. Let's say you want to have all three of these files uh, copied down to the target computer. Maybe you have laptops that aren't going to be able to access your file share. In that case, uh, in your deployment.config, you would use that path. Notice how we have that set. Um, you have to escape the colons, et cetera. But here we're actually saying go to the Windows directory, Sun Java Deployment. That's where you'll find it. And then you would have to uh, have another package. Instead of just copying the deployment config, you would copy all of those files down. All right, so that's kind of how you could do that. All right, I'm Shane. We'll talk to you later.